What's going on guys? My name is T3Ace and welcome to the Victory Club. Now, in today's video, we're hopping into Verdansk, but we're going to be using a loadout that was requested by one of my Warzone buddies, as you'll see in this post. So as you guys saw, Philip wanted me to use the Krig as the primary weapon and the FAR as my secondary weapon. And you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Also guys, we're starting a series of double digit kill solo victories on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's hop into it. Alright, so we're hopping into Verdansk. Now this bus, this is a pretty decent bus. It's going right over Promenade. And there's a scavenger right next to us. So if we could grab it, we could grab money, grab our lowdown, we should be set. Oh, I think these guys had the same idea. So I'm going to grab this RPD. Try to pick them off. Fortunately, they took my scavenger, but what can you do? Now, I know you're in there, buddy. You got to come out sometime. There you are. I wish there was like a comp that you could talk to the guy. I just want to ask him, was the scavenger worth it? And he'd probably be like, I don't know what a scavenger is. <laughs> Alright, we got a red access card right here. So you know what that means, we got to hit the bunker. Man, I can't wait to get in there. There's going to be so much loot, so much money. A gas mask, a satchel, we're going to be so set to go. Now I know there's a bunch of different bunkers on the map, but I like this one because it's right by the sea. You got a beautiful view as the door's opening. Open sesame. I mean, it took like five minutes, but. <laughs> oh man, there's so much loot. I don't know where to start. So many orange boxes. Oh, so much money. So many guns. I don't even know what to choose from. A self-revive. Satchel. Ah. Oh, we have so much money, man. We could buy a mansion with this. All this money. Could get a loadout UAV. Buy a nice little mansion right by the sea. We do have an advanced UAV. Now, I don't know if this is a rare item, but I've never seen it. But we did manage to grab it. Now, I don't want to spend too much time there because I might end up staying there for like the whole game. I just grabbing all the loot, admiring all the loot. But yeah, we grab our loadout. It's probably the easiest loadout I've ever gotten. Now, I did see a guy uh, on the UAV, I believe, right here, he was fighting with someone, so I'm gonna pop the advance, <laughs> and just like that, I basically see everybody. I mean, I could even see if the guy's looking at me. It was it. Just like that, easy kill, the advanced UAV. Let's go to this next guy. He probably doesn't know that I have an advanced UAV, and he doesn't know we're coming his way coming right at him oh he does manage to get some decent shots off but it's not good enough now with this FFAR come on now see another guy on the map now, I just realized I picked up stims instead of my heartbeat by accident we gotta get back the heartbeat man Alright, we got a loadout. Could probably grab our um, perks, our other guns. Let's grab a UAV first. Alright, we did grab a bounty. 
Now, uh... This guy kept running away. I don't know why I, he's going to. I think he's inside that building. I heard him break a window. Now I'm just trying to get... Oh! Whoo, he's right there. I was just trying to get in the building. I didn't expect him to be right there, but I guess he was. But again, we have the FAR, man. And this gun shreds. Doesn't stand a chance. And now we're heading to buy station. I do see this guy on top of building. I guess he has a sniper. He's just camping it there. Starting to shoot everybody basically. Let's grab another loadout. I think this is like my second loadout. I mean, that's what happens when you have a bunker, right? You can grab as many loadouts as you want. Now we're headed to the bounty. I see this guy, he's sniping in the roof. Poor guy thought I was still in the car. <laughs> but I hopped out. Enjoy that thermite, buddy. Yeah, there's no getting back up. He honestly should have just crawled away from the thermite and self-revived. I don't know why he decided to, like, stick it. But, what can you do? Uh, we're heading to the buy station. We do have enough. Oh, I see this guy. I'm not in the car, man. I hopped out. Yeah, that 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 poor guy was clueless. I mean, he was probably actually camping this buy station, just waiting for someone to buy a UAV. Now, I don't know if you guys know about this glitch, but. For some reason, I can't pop my UAV. I tried to buy another UAV. I bought self rest to maybe fix it. But it wasn't working. For some reason, it just wouldn't allow me to pop UAVs. Alright, now we're inside a truck. I see this guy laying down. Hey man, you can't blend in. You're not a chameleon. Come on now. What, he thought I wouldn't see him? Oh. He didn't even try to move out the way. He, he like... It was just laying down there. I mean, when he did get up, it was too late. Come on now. You gotta get up quicker. Oh, I see this guy. We're down to the last ten people. Nine other than me. I see this guy. He's, uh... I think he's shooting the car that's driving on my left. Now, I'm, as you guys see, the horizontal recoil really throws your shot off. But <laughs> we run him over and he pretty much quits because he knows he's done. But yeah, the horizontal recoil really throws off your shot. So you can't just keep it on him. And just a word of advice, any gun that has vertical recoil only is a good gun. Any gun that has vertical and horizontal recoil, generally, it's it's decent. So, like, the Craig has the best range, so it's decent. But it's just not the best, you know? I do start getting shot at by this guy. Hey, man. You know, there's another car driving, right? Why don't you shoot him? <laughs> it's easier to disable too. I mean, I got a big truck. Uh, he did hit me pretty bad. I, I need to plate up. Hopefully, he's distracted with the other car. Go shoot over there, man. Go shoot here. Ah, uh, he's still on me. I'm gonna run him over. Come on now. Oh, thank you, man. He, he, he confirmed my kill for me. Oh, we get shot at by RPG. Of course, me. Not the truck. The other car. So, I uh, down him in the smoke. 
Now, if I remember correctly, this car was smoking, so it's gotta be low health. Just like that, we disable it. Mask on, come on, man. Mask off. There we go, we get him. It kept putting on the mask, take it off the mask. Just let me shoot the guy, you know? But just like that, GG's. GG guys. GG's, did you get second place? I got shot in the back, but it, it's all cool. Did you shoot the RPG? No, that wasn't me. I play six. Here's what I think about the slowdown. Now, the FAR is one of the best close to mid-range guns in the game right now. It's as good, if not better, than the MAC-10. And we all know how good of SMG the MAC-10 is. Now, for the Krig. The Krig has the most range in all the assault rifles. Which is insane because the range of the Krig is as good as the DMRs. The Krig has some pretty decent fire rate. But there's two problems with this gun. One, the horizontal recoil. And no matter what attachment you put on this gun, there's still going to be horizontal recoil. And two, the damage. I just don't think the damage is it. It could be a little better. So what do I think about this gun? I don't think this gun could be the meta. I don't think it could be your primary long range gun or your primary AR. But you should give it a try. So if you like Warzone victories and get Warzone victories, join the Victory Club and be victorious. And make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And comment, what do you think about the Krig? See ya.